There are a variety of growth strategies out there to grow your business, including establishing yourself as an expert, increasing your sales and growing your community. And there's a lot of different media you can use to do that. You can use video just like this. You can use audio, things like podcasts. You can also use the written word and you can use graphics. And so in today's video, I want to talk to you about growth graphics and just how you can utilize graphics to grow your business. Now, there's a lot of hype around video these days. Everyone's saying, oh, you've got to get on video. Video is where it's at. If you want to grow your business, video, video, video. And video is great because you can connect, people can see your face, but it isn't the only way to grow. And it's really important to have a diversity when it comes to your growth strategy. If you find video hard, if you find video draining, if you know there's moments where you're just inconvenienced by it and you feel like you can't do it, and you're thinking, well, how can I still be growing in those moments? And there are other ways, the other medias I talked about. And also, what about your audience? Not everyone enjoys consuming video all the time. There are those moments where you don't want to have noise going on. Maybe you're in an environment where it's quiet and you don't want to have a video or audio going on. Or, you know, maybe you've got a lot of other things going on, like kids running around and you don't have the time to just sit still and watch something. Or, you know, maybe you're traveling and something like a podcast is more interesting to listen to than trying to watch a video. Or maybe you just love to just sit down and read. Everyone's different in the way they like to consume things. And that's why it's important to have variety in your growth strategy because you're going to be appealing to different people and in different circumstances because someone might in a particular circumstance like to um, consume one sort of media, but then in another circumstance, they might like to be consuming a different sort. So if you've got variety, you're touching people at more points through the day and you're getting yourself in front of more people and you're also allowing yourself to have more strategies to fall onto depending on what you're in the mood for, what you're able to do, and you know, making sure that you're constantly being able to put content out there, keep growing your business no matter what. So let's talk about how graphics can be part of that growth strategy. What's really great about graphics is somebody can look at a graphic and straight away they can know if that's something they're interested in or just scroll on by. When it comes to something like a video, they've got to invest in it a bit more. They've got to start watching it and see you get into the content and decide, you know, am I interested in keep watching this? And they've already invested time. Whereas with a graphic, someone can, you know, take something away from it very quickly. And, you know, if it's something they want to refer to later, they can save it. It's something that's very quick and you're not, you know, holding people ransom so they have to figure out is this something I'm interested in or not. They can very quickly look at it and take away what they need to take away from it. It's also silent. So they're in those moments where they don't want noise and it's not convenient for them to listen to something with a lot of audio then a graphic is really great way for them to consume your content it's also really great for visual learners so if you're trying to explain something that's quite complicated where you know talking it out or writing it out is going to still go over someone's head and they're gonna be like I'm still not quite sure what you mean by that visuals things like infographics or just writing it out in a way that starts to show it in a more visual way can actually help it really click with someone they can suddenly go oh i get that now that actually makes sense you've actually you know presented it in a way that's helped me to understand that so graphics can be very powerful when it comes to trying to help people understand a complex idea and even non-complex ideas sometimes things just make more sense visually than trying to talk you through it obviously you can maybe visually show that in a video but being able to visually show that in a graphic is a really quick way to get through to someone and help them understand something. It also makes it quite shareable and you know they can easily just quickly show a friend and you know that friend isn't going to be like oh I've got to watch this whole video now. They can just look at that graphic and be like oh thanks for letting me know that and you know thanks for sharing that with and me. And so it can be very shareable which is a great way of getting you more reach. And that leads us into the first type of growth graphic which is viral graphics. Now the goal of a viral graphic is basically to get people sharing it. So depending on the platform you're putting it on for example if that's Instagram you probably want people sharing it to their stories or if it's for Pinterest you might just want people pinning it and putting it on their board so other people are seeing it. basically you just want to be sure that whatever the platform it is you're thinking about making sure that that graphic is something really easy for people to share and something that they'll want to share now people are going to want to share something that makes them look good or is going to help other people understand them better. So really think about your audience. What are they thinking and what do they want people to understand about them? Or what will make them look good? Maybe it's something funny so they'll give their audience a bit of a laugh. Or maybe it's something quite clever where you've helped make sense of something. And so they're gonna to want to share that because that makes them look good. 
or it helps explain something about themselves. So these could be things like funny infographics, they can be illustrations, they can be things where you know you turn it something that's very familiar, for example like a notification pop-up, into something that's a little bit more funny. So it's sort of a visual comedy in a way. You're sort of playing on things that are very everyday, that people see all the time, very familiar, and turning into something with a bit of a comical twist to it. It doesn't have to be completely hilarious or out there, it just has to be something that has a bit of a clever twist to it that makes someone think oh that's really clever that's really cool and they're going to want to share it. With this sort of graphic it's not about putting up boring basic facts that's more if we want to get into the educational stuff which we'll talk about very soon but it can be more doing a funny twist on something educational or just putting it in a way that you know just clicks with people real fast Basically, you're just thinking, how can I make sure that this graphic is something that people will want to share? So get creative and have fun with it. So back to those educational posts. So the next one is content graphics. Now this splits into two sections. Content graphics can either be graphics that lead to content, so some sort of promotional graphic saying, you know, go check out my blog, or go check out my podcast, or my YouTube video, some sort of graphic that's going to lead people from where they are to your main content, that long form content. So you're going to want to give them some incentive, maybe you know, show them a little bit of that content, talk about it a bit, tell them why they should invest the time in looking at that content. Because as I said, those long form content, that watching a video or you know, reading something really long, people don't want to spend all this time and then realize this isn't actually for me. So that graphic has got to be that thing that draws someone in and go, yes, that is something I'm interested in, that is something for me, so I'm going to go check that out. And then there's the graphics that are content. So these are your educational graphics. These could be a carousel post where you break that information up into lots of different graphics, or it could just be one graphic, it really makes one concept really easy to understand. You could use something like infographics or lists or some sort of illustration, something that graphically helps teach something, teach a concept, and for this you could very easily repurpose some of your long form content, maybe just take part of that out and turn it into an educational graphic. And it's a way of teaching people in these little bite sized bits where they're not investing too much time into it, but you're showing your expertise and helping people learn something and giving them a little bit of a win. Maybe you know you teach something where they can then take action on that and you know it can really help them and it make a difference for them. And it isn't just for if you have a business where you're teaching people things, anything you sell, think about what can I be teaching people that will help them you know use that product. If you're offering services, educating people about why you do your services in a particular way, why certain things are important. So then they'll read that and be like oh I understand why that's so important now and I'm more willing to invest in that service because I can see the value in it. And also educating people on values around your brand too. So if you think about your brand values and think I really want to help people understand why this is so important, you can use educational graphics to help illustrate that and help people understand why those things are so important to you. So then we have connection graphics. So connection graphics are all about growing your community. It's not about getting those follower numbers up or making lots of sales or anything like that. It's more about you know deepening the bond with your community, getting to know them better and helping them to get to know you better and really creating a stronger community. And it's a chance for you to show your community that they are really seen and heard, that you understand their concerns, that you're listening to them, that it's not just a one-sided thing where you're just putting all this stuff out there and you know, hoping that they'll buy from you and follow you and all those things. But you're really listening to them, really taking on their feedback and it's a two-way thing where you're having a conversation with them. So these kind of graphics can be interactive things like games or puzzles or it could be you putting out a question and then asking them in the comments to respond. Anything where you're getting that sort of feedback from them, where you're saying, I'd like to know this from you, or I'd like to get your feedback on that, or interact with me in this way. So it's all about creating a graphic where people are going to interact. And then finally, we have sales graphics. So these graphics are all about the end goal of selling. So it could be that you're actually promoting directly and saying, you know, there's this thing I've got to offer. Would you like to buy it, basically? Or you can be more sending someone down a funnel where you're inviting someone to join an opt-in or a webinar or something where you're starting to send them down a sales funnel. So for these kind of graphics, you're either promoting something, it could be something free or something paid, or you're breaking down and telling people about that product or service and basically letting them know what it's all about and what it is. Or you can utilize sales graphics to create some hype around a launch. So you can create graphics like countdown timers or little sneak peeks, things where you're getting people hyped up and interested before you actually lead into the sale. You can also do things like giveaways and creating a graphic to promote that giveaway. Or if you're just having a quick sale, you know, you know, 25% off or buy one, get one free. Any of those kind of graphics 
promoting any of those things is a sales graphic. It's basically just all about trying to lead to the sale. What's great about sales graphics is they create excitement and anticipation and it also helps people see things more visually so it makes it more tangible and this can be particularly important when you've got a digital product or you're selling something online where someone can't go in a store and physically touch it. So you're able to really help someone see, visualize it, make it tangible by creating these sales graphics. So as you can see graphics can be a really great tool for growing your business. There's something where you can just create it from the comfort of your home hidden away on a dark rainy day in front of the computer. You don't have to have perfect lighting, your makeup all done, you don't have to be looking all nice and perfect. It's one of those things that you can just quietly work on away and still be growing your business. It's a really great skill to have to be able to create graphics that will grow your business because it's such an effective strategy and something that you can put together quite quickly and it can be really effective in getting yourself seen and out there and growing your business. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to learn more about graphic design, branding and creativity then be sure to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.